kawai ka samla lut kala do e no ya kamen siam dang hakini kisngi kata ikong rani rani sha simli hagaba hagajing le chumar jong i hang te ha hospital hani grams ila do e ya kamen siam da kaba ki bahiyeng kila kdo ba ka dei hi ka jing trai torti la ne ka jing bam sut nyo jong ki nong sumar hak te ka hospital kabala pelong ya ini samla wat bandu no e ka jing im ka bakodor ka jong i bat menta ka sing i don ha ka ne ka yeng ka jong ini samla lut ba ka dei ka si ka ba ka si ba ki bahiyeng kin wan ban le niam kaddo la ne ban wan pai kaddo ya ka mat ka jong i shua ba kin on menta ka si ha ulom jing tam hang te ha Alang, in yo banyak keren, bat ki bahaye, ki ba <hesitation> lasa umdum, na kani ka jing klat no, bat ka jing du no, jong ki ya ya ikon, e ba idei ru i ikon kat du, jong ka yeng, ba ka jing du sendat jong ki ya i ni ikon, kala pelengo ya ki bahaye, na mar ba wat ha ki hospital ru, kala don ka jing ong ba kim chim ai ka report ka ba biang, bat ka jing pentip ka ba biang, balai i isu klat no, kom ni sendat sendat. Tak kira bahaya yang kita rasa kalau umdum, but kim tip saya ke eh kepala penolong ya kan ya. Tapi nak kalau yang cungi over front media ni, wan hang ni banyak keran, but kira bahaya yang ke eh kepala kikwa pentip halau organik kencingja, but sibet insya allah banyak keran tu, but udah direktor jangka negrim orang sepenca ini ke eh kepala oleh saya kepala penolong ya kencing dulu no kami siem cungi ni sam lah. Ini minta hama hatu kami cibleyan, lakukan yaki tukis sister, terlalu per keongga lokin, terlalu per kat arwajen, kat wajen lakukan untuk wan wan yarap ma, bahkan terikam isijen, dekim wan deh, tidak tertinggi muka. Ini mesra laku johat, ma punya negrimi. Tak ilah klan, ilah alat alat benda yang boleh eh, tak alat sah sekerla. Tapi nanti kerla lah yang istimam, tega lah pakwan nak sini selang kita di dawai swa. Tapi nak kinti new di di dawai TV, orang bah pang TV lah jen cheese ni ni, lah di dawai jam ni lah. Beri sunah reka reka nak tak lah sunang. Dap sekarang ni kencing su, tapi tu ingat alih hospital, alih hospital yang bakladi dawai. Jadi tu bat alih check up, alih checking tar lihat tes sih. Tapi ada nanti orang badan nanti yang kene ke senir m, bah alah senir no. Hak pok jangan ni balik pencana bom lay dah na. Dapom ni lay, dapom pom ni tak mula dah pencana. Entah yang kipan put, tadi kipan put, tadi layar rahing sem, tadi ayat put yang yang kemat doktor tadi cengi ubli ma. Ya saya ke kon malah istimewa ni kelas sujur ma. Tadi yang terayu kanang jam ma nak kain, nak put. Bagi pikat nyu tarik, tapi nak pulai tarik kat nak ni. Kamu tu mesti. Kiki tu ki, ki prop, ki ee, ki air dah lapan. Ni nak pun yang nak ee kadal, pun ee. Karena kalau jipang mesti put ni ke rumah, ki air. Tip di dalam tajung lek tarik ki doktor ni, sak longgum ni ni ngam nak mudur syuk kan. Hakapor bagi puji ke beliau, jing sisa ni kibahyeng ni kuat eh doktor bauun pencai keng, ke puji ke beliau, ke eh ke bau yo nak met jong ke beliau keng, yang itu uang kiblok kisnir, dan rei uang lada man kap kisnir uin kap lada man weng ru ingin weng, ublok barit ingin weng lada ublok bahe ingin hap kap, rei mar dep puji. Kebang ini dah longo, bang ini dah susi kelong. Lai suang bejangi kilit cepok, lai rak cepok ya kebrio. Tapi hendrain dah rak cepok, niwat kita doktor bang keli. Nah pedang kita kisi star kita don tur ngi keli mana bapuit tu. Kim ay kerteng kita doktor bapuit. 
teki sei uwe habaki puit katia ke perio aji puit ke balolong hebi nadu nena sadem hi hatu sopet harum sopet lai baje men met ke punya haka mit si beli la la de nok ka monde la lai baje ada poin ni krim ida to bat ke siti ke siti pila i kemud nadu si baje hadu lai baje keng ki ke peje ke beru badon hapo surgery icu kata hadin pala ke poin hadin pala de poin te haka si sajan ke la pan sit te ban di la klan la klan nang lek ngaru la klan ni kwa e kan krim bakan pecai kayo ayu bak ke puci kan ke kunjung i keng Uwe bagi saya nak kepok kain ketutup pui tang kata ringin kuat jeng seniung kuat heban yo ya kajing suki kebrungi lei kalak lek nyin lek ayusu ringin kuat bakan om jia kainnya kiwe kiwe ru kibah pang kibah stom kibah wan hapok ni krim kain kenang bagi we kiwe kam tam kinong kendong kibom itu ya no no kibah wan pak sumar ntun reki mat no kena kajing ek jaka bikin koi kin tiap man Kemudian ni lah yos kau nak kalian yang jengki bahaya yang kibala penpau ya kajing sanut kajengki ban ban tip kei kibala jai kekun kado kajengki bat hado mana kepor kebanyi keran kidang bon kajing keli nama raba kempat tip syai kei kibala jai kekun kajengki te mentang gidan hangne hanegram hospital hakaba ngan don ke appointment bat u director banyak kondo bat u markman lese unla ban penshai hangi kamtam unla ban penshai kibahaya ya kei kibala Jam untuk kesi kenang makin yo, ya kajing syai kaba kan penhun ya kai yaki kan penhun ya kai yang kesem baro. Tengin esngam ke eh kebau director udan menang hak hak ni kepor. It is unfortunate that press at times utilizes some words which are very very strong. Negligence basically is defined as something medical negligence, where somebody does something which nobody normally would do. Which is not true. Here, in fact, I have with me my head of the Department of Surgery, who is currently officiating as the medical superintendent, also with some details. But we had a very sick patient who had multi-drug-resistant tuberculosis. She was admitted with us. She was investigated, and she had obstruction. She was not passing, so intestinal obstruction. And normally, when the obstruction is for a long time, surgical intervention is required. So after the investigation was done, the surgeons were consulted and they suggested surgery. Initially, the patient refused. The next day, the patient agreed to undergo surgery. And this surgery, because the patient is very sick, is basically not very extensive. It just bypasses the obstruction, temporary relief from the obstruction, so that when the patient recovers, later on extensive surgery may be undertaken. In the meantime, because of probably the drugs that she was taking, there was liver damage. Post-surgery, she was admitted in the ICU. She had difficulty in breathing. The doctors wanted consent for intubation. Intubation is where a tube is put to help in breathing. She refused. The next day, when her condition worsened, she agreed for intubation. Intubation was done. There was uh, trouble breathing because she had, uh, like they say, water in the lungs. She is a known heart patient also. She had uh, heart uh, treatment earlier, maybe in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And eventually the patient succumbed. And the controversy erupted probably because some of the relatives of the patients were not very clear about the details or they did not understand the technical details that were explained by the doctors. So that uh, probably is one of the issues. Beyond that, I am not aware of how the, the uh, newspaper reported negligence because every investigation and the standard treatment that is given to such patients was given by Negrim. After the operation, the condition of the patient was not very good. So because of the condition not being very good, the patient was shifted to the main ICU. We have multiple ICUs. So this main ICU is the one which is one of the best that we have around here and that is managed by the anesthetist. So patient was kept there from uh, 17th up to 20th. When the condition of the patient became little better, the patient was shifted down to the other ICU which is a little lesser ICU that is called the surgical ICU. Usually we keep all those post-op patients and sick surgery cases over there. Over there, if they become better, they go to the ward. 
If they become worse, they go back to the ICU. But the next day, on 22nd, uh, she had this breathing difficulty. And that was probably because of accumulation of fluid in the lungs. And also there was extensive damage to the lungs because of the earlier tuberculosis that she had. So by the time they are MDR, before MDR they are taking usually the other uh, normal drugs and then they have been taking other drugs also, MDR which is for uh, multi-drug resistance uh, tuberculosis. Okay. So unfortunately, the general condition of the patient was quite bad. And there was one more thing. We had planned to give her five days of albumindasa injection that helps reduce the collection of fluid in the body. Okay. Unfortunately, because we lost the patient, we could not do all that. Now the patient, what I understand was, patient was complaining that she is not able to breathe. Okay. But at that time, patient had refused uh, intubation. But she was being given oxygen by mask. Now one of the things I got to understand was, patient did not see any oxygen cylinder. But here in the ICU, we have actually the gas, uh, we have gas pipelines and it comes through basically a uh, uh, pipeline, the gas. So it is very, very improbable that in a patient who is as sick as that, we would not be giving oxygen. So I don't know. I think this is a, probably a misconception somewhere. Generally what happens is I don't think any further operation from surgery part would have been required because like uh, initially we told a patient whose condition is very bad, we don't try to do the full surgery at that time. We do just enough. Like supposing there's a road which has got multiple potholes and very badly damaged. At, the, at most what we do is we provide a bypass. We do the repair later. So in this condition, same thing. Once the general condition becomes better, then only we are going to do the full surgery. Supposing this is where the block is, right? So what we do is we make an opening in the intestine here. And that opening is brought out here so that whatever food particles which are held up over there can actually come out. Okay. I hope I'm clear enough. So that was the surgery. That was the surgery. So surgery which was done was a minimum surgery just done enough to make sure that the patient lives. And if the patient lives and becomes a little better, with the better general condition, we can go in for a larger surgery. The, that is the incision that when, when we, we, to get into the abdomen, we have to make an incision. Okay, so the incision usually will be at least about this long to get into the abdomen. So the how big a surgery is not dictated by the length of the incision. Okay, sometimes we may do a very small surgery. In this case, the surgery was not a very big surgery. But you have to give an incision big enough to go in. Laparoscopy is not an option in this case. Laparoscopy is the one where you use small, small incisions to get into the abdomen. And usually if a normal healthy person is operated for some accident or something, these patients do well. But a patient who is having something like a major disease, like uh, multi-drug resistance tuberculosis, the general condition of the patient is very bad. Okay, So in such patients, the outcome is very uh, poor actually, so to say. And that is the reason why we didn't do the full surgery, but we did just enough to uh, help patient live longer. How one patient behaves with tuberculosis and other person behaves is very different. Okay. Some people do very well with treatment. Some people, despite treatment, the earlier damage which was done because of the disease is so severe that it compromises to the patient to a large extent. And especially MDR tuberculosis, which is a severe form of tuberculosis, these patients, once they become okay with treatment also, their ability to breathe is compromised. Okay, that is usually the problem. It's not that once you have suffered from tuberculosis, after that you are absolutely okay. In some yes, in some no. Uh, issue, but uh, we have our own internal uh, quality check. So we'll be instituting an audit uh, or a sort of audit inquiry into this to see if there are any areas where we may have gone wrong, where we can improve. This is a continuous process. Uh, after the treatment, after she passed away, they didn't get any proper explanation mm -hmm. of why she okay, I'll explain that there's a little misconception in that area now what happens is uh, no, when you get admitted to a hospital when you get discharged there's a discharge report that is given to you so, which is quite a extensive but a concise report which tells everything about what about the patient what was done and what not when the patient dies we don't generally give the whole written report like that okay we usually give what is called as form number four which is a government uh, requirement 
So in case the patient has died, the cause of death is written in that and what time patient died, age and other uh, demographic details are usually there in that. After that, the actual death report comes. Okay, And at any time if the patient wants any extra information, all they need to do is write a letter to the medical superintendent and will provide the necessary information. Let me assure you that in this entire region, Nigrim is probably the best hospital which provides quality service and for majority of the patients, the service is free of cost. Most of them who are uh, taking the government health insurance schemes, etc. Then what could be the reason in, on behind people always uh, complaining about this and this? If people have to complain, I can't stop them. And people complain when they have to wait for a while. If there are 10 patients and somebody is waiting, they get upset, they angry, get angry, they make noise. I mean, you have to come. I can't look at 10 patients in one go. I have to go one by one. So patients are dissatisfied and it is understandable. A patient who is serious, they have an attendant, the attendant feels everything should be done within seconds. See, we do our best to serve the people of the region and beyond. And I can't stop people from finding faults. And uh, there may be instances where the doctors may be wrong. We, we are also humans. But nobody does any act which can lead to death of a patient willingly. Okay? We always try our best.